Hello guys, so welcome back to new video of setting up the react js on the local environments so after completing completely installing the visual studio code now all you need to do is install the node.js node.js is not is actually a technology and it's not directly related to react it ends up in running the javascript uh, which allows us to run the javascript outside the browser and also it helps us to create the react applications and more or more it's it's on behind the scenes they actually use for transformation and optimization of the steps uh, and also it helps us in building the production ready applications so you need to click on the downloads and after downloading all you need to do is click on install so i already have installed this react application all you need to do is just walk through the steps and accept the default settings i'm just canceling it because i have already installed it so just make sure that uh, node.js installed on your system and i have already installed the node.js it's version 18.3.0 so now you need to just go and go and create uh, click on new terminal here we are going to create a new react application so i'm just i'm just going to create a folder for where i will put my react projects and now all you need to do is go to browser and write create react app once you write create react app uh, it will take you to react.js.org as i already told you react.js.org have all the documentations and how we need to install how we need to manage this application i'm going into detail first I, i'm going to install the react application so this is the command for creating a react application my app is basically the name of the project you need to make sure that you have a uh, node.js version which is greater than or equal to 14. so i just show you uh, we have version 18.3 which is good for the creating a react app so now I'm going to create my first react app so all I need to do is just click enter once I click enter it will it is going to download all the latest uh, node modules apps and all the applications all the files uh, which are going to support for uh, react application uh, so all you need to do is uh, be patient relax because it is going to take uh, a bit time because it uh, not just uh, take a little bit time in downloading all the files till then I'm going to show you uh, what react.js.org offers it in, you can see it clearly on my right hand side they they give a documentation for installation for main concepts they, you need to understand main concepts advanced guidelines api references hooks which is one of the great feature uh, in the react testing a contribution if you need to contribute to the community if you have questions and answer you can go here so again if i go here you can see here it's downloading the files and during download downloading if you face any kind of error any kind of issue you can reach out to me through comments through email and if you uh, uh, didn't, uh, I didn't get answer quickly you can reach out to the community because it has a vast community uh, uh, for react JS so you can find out the solutions but I'm happy if I if I would give my time to you, all of you uh, because uh, it, it makes me feel really good so still it's downloading the files so downloading is completed so congratulations to all of you finally we have created our first my first react app great congratulations guys so now we need to run this app so for running the app all you need to do is write the command npm start so once i click on the npm start it is going to run this and i'm also going to open the folder for the application
you can see here it gives some error let me just check it I guess I get some error and it's not loaded the, uh, the reason is that uh, when it was going to show the UI of this application I just closed the project and open the folder for this main application but don't worry guys just go on to the folder where the application is installed and the folder is created just you all you need to do is click npm start and just click enter so it's going to start this uh, react application so it's loading the files and hopefully it's not working here but hopefully now when i rerun this it, it is going to start working in your case it will run at the first time because yo congratulations guys our first application is ready so it looks good Congra congratulations to all of you so let me just refresh this and it's working in your case it's going to work because uh, you are not going to make a mistake like me I like i close the application when it's going to load the files so now just go in the project and uh, see what it's actually offering so we have my re first react app and we have three folders node modules uh, so these are all the uh, more functionalities more node modules which if we need to use them in the react application these are public files like index main file and uh, if we have any logos and some public settings we can pass here and this is the src this is a source file source folder this is uh, the core folder of this react project here we have all the components and all the JS files, CSS files, logos and all the things, all the application files, uh, coding files will, will come in this source folder. And this is the Git. So if you need to check in your things on the Git, uh, this file will be usable then. Right now we are not using it. This is a package.json file. In package.json, it basically tells us uh, what version of react we are using and what version of uh, what dependencies we uh, we uh, are using in this project and if we have any other uh, packages uh, which needs to install on the production when we install these applications or on the testing phase we write those uh, node file names and it will be installed when we are going to deploy them and this is the readme file this is this is going to be if we are going to check in all these things on the git uh, this readme is going to help uh, is going to be really helpful for us so right now uh, i'm not going to make anything on all this file i'm going to just show you if i need to make some changes on the learn react so i will go to app.js so guys first of all don't get confused after seeing all these things uh, this is going to be a uh, really easy and i will explain you in detail so don't get uh, confused at uh, what is this app js and app test js and index.css i'm going to explain you in all in detail this is the app component if we go in the app component we can see here uh, uh, the html this is just simple html all i need to do is learn react by amir great so i didn't make any changes just i click Control s and here we can see learn react by armor so this is very simple changes uh, so in our next videos uh, we are going to dig into it and explore more about react so congratulations to all of you for making your first project